let's make a really easy simple bread today first we start with the yeast i have a package it said 11 grams on it this yeast is just dried yeast it doesn't need to be um, put in water with sugar the packet said but i still like to do it because i think it's the best way so i have warm water put your finger in the water make sure it's not burning so you need warm water i have exactly one cup of water everything i measured here today and i put one teaspoon of sugar i'm going to mix that and set it aside for five to ten minutes and you'll see it's going to bubble up meanwhile i'm going to take four cups of flour and sift it through the sifter i'm using four cups because i am making four loaves and one package is enough even if i was making three cups of flour i would still use the same package but if you're making more than four i'd recommend using a little more yeast so i'm sifting everything and to this now i am going to add some olive oil maybe a big tablespoon and a teaspoon of salt this is a very important step because salt is really important for your bread otherwise it's going to be bland and tasteless and i'm just going to massage everything together until it's just all incorporated and very nice you always want to sift your flour so it's nice and fluffy and has no clumps in it it's an extra step but it's worth it and now you will see that the yeast is all bubbled up just like that and we're going to add it to the flour this specific batch of bread took two and a half cups of warm water exactly but depending on the type of flour you use or the kind of um, weather it is everything affects your flour it the water might get adjusted but don't add everything at the same time first i added one cup of water and i'm just gonna mix everything together see with my fingertips and then another i brought in another cup of warm water i'm gonna use it slowly little by little because you don't want to put too much water and hydrate your flour too much the first time i made flour uh, bread bread in general it was a disaster so you have to keep practicing you have to keep um, watching and reading about flowers and bread making in general for you to get good at it and now i have another half a cup i'm going to use that you'll see my flour is by now pretty hydrated and very sticky i'm going to soon transfer that to a marble surface so you if you don't have a marble surface you can just clean your countertop really well by disinfecting it and then cleaning it with warm water and drying it very well F on my marble i'm gonna add flour on the bottom and on top and start kneading kneading is one of the most important steps without kneading you're not gonna get bread i am of a school that doesn't over knead her a dough but if you want to knead it further and more you can you just want to knead it to the point where you press on the dough and it has a little dimple on it and the dimple doesn't sink or doesn't bounce back too fast you just need a little dimple you see my flour is not my dough is not that smooth you can do it up to the um, smoothness of it mine is a little bit rough still it's not that smooth after kneading my dough for about good five minutes, I am going to transfer it into the bowl where it's gonna rise. I put a little bit of olive oil there, put my dough in, cover it with cellophane, and put it in a turned off oven. Turned off, you're not turning the oven on, you're keeping it off. You're, you're putting it into the oven with the light on and keeping it there for an hour. Or you can put it somewhere warm, it could be your boiler room or cover it with a beautiful giant sweater, whatever you do, just for it to rise. After rising for an hour, this is what I have, and I'm going to cut it up in four pieces. Some of my bread was smaller than the other because each of the kids took a little piece from the corners to play around with it while I was making the bread. And now I am going to shape them into breads into loaves these are kind of like hero italian kind of loaves and i'm gonna let them rise for another 40 minutes 
I'm going to shape them the way I want. You want to make circles, make. The first one is always ridiculous, so the first one is not going to be perfect, but then the rest will be really beautiful. When you're making bread, don't rush it and don't use too much oil. So I'm going to create my loaves right now and then let them rest for another 30, 40 minutes and you'll see they're going to double in size. It can become really big and fluffy and gorgeous. And you also need egg wash. Two of my loaves I made with just plain egg wash and two I made with sesame seeds. <laughs> my daughter is playing there. So I'm going to let them rest there like that with a clean towel on top for 40 minutes. After 40 minutes, this is what they look. Look like you can put an egg wash on them and put them in the oven at 375 for 25, 30 minutes or until golden brown. Make sure you put it right in the center. Bake this in two batches unless you have a huge oven. Make sure there is good heat circulation so everything cooks evenly. You don't have to cut it if you don't want to. I just cut it because it looks pretty and it looks cute. And then put your egg wash everywhere. You don't have to put an egg wash, but if you put it's going to be nice and golden. I prefer to put the egg wash. And two of them I am making just plain like that. And two of them I'm going to put sesame seeds. And these, these are good because you can use them for sandwiches or to make French toast the next day for your kids and just enjoy them plain or with cheese, anything. They were just plain white bread and it's so easy to make them. Super, super easy to make them. Just bake them at 375 for 25, 30 minutes or until they look like this. Mine are all in the same uh, tray because I needed the other tray for something else. And that's it. So easy, so simple, so delicious. I hope you try it and you keep practicing.